Australia's live export industry has suspended trade with Pakistan and Bahrain after footage emerged of sheep being brutally slaughtered. 21,000 sheep were sent to Pakistan and killed after being rejected by Bahrain. The Prime Minister Julia Gillard raised the issue with her Pakistani counterpart on the sidelines of the Asia-Europe meeting. And a warning, this report contains graphic vision. A sensitive topic at Julia Gillard's meeting with Raja Pervez Ashraf. I did raise with the Prime Minister of Pakistan my concern about the graphic and very cruel images we've seen of the treatment of Australian sheep. The ABC aired footage of about 21,000 sheep being slaughtered, some buried alive. They'd been sent to Pakistan after Bahrain rejected them, it said for health reasons. The exporter denied any problems, but Pakistan also claimed the animals were diseased. As a farmer myself, uh, seeing some of the footage that we saw last night, it's, uh, it really pulls the heartstrings on farmers. The industries voluntarily halted exports to Bahrain and Pakistan as the Agriculture Department investigates. Mr. Ashraf told Ms. Gillard Pakistan would conduct its own inquiry. The minister, Joe Ludwig, calls this a distressing but isolated incident. New regulations were put in place after another controversy saw the live cattle trade to Indonesia temporarily suspended last year. The new system has been put in place is about delivering to the to the world standards. It will actually increase animal welfare in countries that have not been there before. Now Australia should be very proud of that. The government has made out it has regulations in place to address animal welfare. We have seen another horrific example how meaningless this is. The Greens want live exports banned altogether. The Meat Workers Union says processing animals here will create jobs. Now there's an ability there to employ a lot of Indigenous workers up in the Territory. At least one government backbencher agrees. This is not an, an isolated incident. Uh, you know, with apologies to Bob Dylan, how many isolated incidents will it take before we know that this has to stop? The coalition backs live exports and has criticised the government's handling of the Indonesian incident. Ms Gillard says the government's working to ensure the industry is sustainable. Kathy Novak, World News Australia.